Okay, welcome to Lower Class Podcast. This is Ziggy. This is his Pony. Yeah, this is episode 21. Uh, you know, on our, when we reach the 100th episode, we'll probably do like maybe like a two hour special or something, you know? Something to celebrate it because actually, if we didn't go on a hiatus, we could have been at 100 by now. Yeah, but you bitch ass motherfuckers don't listen to us. What the yeah. fuck? Yeah, we we we, we took I, like a four month hiatus because we both worked at the same hotel, but we had different schedules and it was conflicting. That's why we stopped. That's why we're barely at episode twenty one, being a year already. You know. But overall, overall, we love you guys. Don't get us wrong. Yeah, we're still waiting on the feedback from you guys, you know, like you guys are not leaving comments on our YouTube channel and it's kind of irritating because we don't know if we're doing a good job here. We don't know what our listeners think of what we're doing on this podcast. Oh, and uh, for future reference, uh, every solo podcast, we will have our same friend, yes, yeah, yeah. On the podcast, so we do have a third host that would come. Yeah, it, well, let's just call her our semi temporary permanent host because you know she can't always do it. Apparently, the day that we do it on is when she has uh, what does she have? She has activities going on, like church group yeah. stuff. Yeah, whatever. It's all right. I mean, I, I kind of was expecting her to be on again because you know it was good to have a third opinion on like the things we talk about on this podcast because uh <clears throat> i don't know it's a lot more fun that way and plus our last podcast was almost two hours long right that was crazy that i could have i could have cut it made it maybe like like a maybe made it about an hour and 30 minutes but it was all good you know and we're all drunk yeah so you guys know we're drunk on just so you know it's it's a lot better to listen to our podcast on headphones or through speakers because on your phone it sounds like shit because we don't have a good mic i was supposed to get a a good studio mic this kid was selling for like 30 bucks but the retail price was actually a lot more than that which was i was kind of surprised why he was selling for cheap but the the kid couldn't get permission from his from his dad or his mom or whatever he's like oh i can't do today all right now i wait for the problem the problem let's give away for the problems no negativity negativity <clears throat> It's funny because uh, I've I've been trying to invite some people, and it, it, people scape away from doing this because they think they're too embarrassed. Not too embarrassed, kind of like like the person who we brought in. Yeah, yeah. They always assume that it's gonna be on um, a video, and I was like, no. no, it's gonna be no. an audio. It's all gonna be audio. It's gonna be fun. Just go with it. Don't don't you know? Don't do it. I was more nervous that day we did it, cause I was like, oh shit, this is the first time we ever have a third person. And you were nervous? I was fucking nervous, I dude. I wasn't, man. I, well, I was feeling good, though, because I was kind of buzzed. <laughs> no, no, I was nervous more because it, it was different. It, well, it's because it's, it's always you and me and yeah. nobody else. So I'm like, you want to just go with the flow? That's why, like, when we well, started. We never thought it would work too well. Like, we, okay, don't get me wrong. Your friend, Felipe, when he was here, it, it, it didn't seem like we all clicked together. Well, it's like, true because was one. I think what it was, because we concentrated more on the video instead of the audio. You know what I mean? It's like people, yeah. we concentrated. Um, more conceitedness, I guess See, you'd if, say. Say, for example, say if you're not here, you're not available to do the podcast, and say if we had somebody else to cover you, it wouldn't work because we don't have that chemistry and it, We don't have that same chemistry like if it's just you and me. Yeah. No, no, which is, it's fantastic. I kind of I actually loved it. I, it's, it's enjoyable. Yeah, it, it turned out pretty well, actually, because she was kind of nervous, and I was like, you know what? We're not doing video. Yeah. We're doing I, just audio. And like our old format before was video. I know. That, 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 was, that was trouble. You know, honestly, what I'm thinking about doing is, is just even just making all the, the video um, Audio. podcast. Well, that, but for now, I'm thinking about maybe uh, putting those videos on private for now. Um. And just keeping the audio for now until I uh, change the, the video into just audio only. Well, yeah, like I've been inviting some people. Well, one, one of them uh, can't do it. Like sometimes can't do it because she does work overnight, like graveyard. So who's that? That was Cynthia. But she can't do it because uh, her schedule is really odd. And Wait, she works graveyard? Where does she work graveyard at? Well, at, the, at that store. Was that 99 cent store? Yeah. They have graveyard right there? Yeah, they do. It was stocking. Oh. And then oh. um, and then my friend Annabelle, like, well, she's kind of nervous about doing it. 
And uh, well, I don't mind. I mean, I understand. So I, I mean, I'm gonna do the same thing. I convince uh, you have to do, convince her, because it's it's audio. I mean, we're really talking. If, like uh, I convinced Jay to do it is because I told her, dude, just do it. It's just audio. It's it's like having a natural conversation. Yeah, and plus the thing is, like, you get used to it after a while, you know. And plus, there's we don't really. We don't have boundaries of what we can't speak about. Mm-hmm. You know, we could curse all we want. That is true because we. <laughs> we're not. We're not family oriented. None, none whatsoever. whatsoever. Yeah. There's no way we're family oriented at all. True, but yeah, like, like I, I remember one night I I was on YouTube checking the analytics and I saw that our uh, our age range of who listens to our podcast is between 18 and 65 plus. Which is funny. And, you know, even now, since we got Yaya, mm-hmm. she... Our, our listening, male and female, they're about almost equal. They're almost 50-50. Because mm-hmm. before it was mostly male. Yeah. And now it's, you know, it's e- almost equal, you know? Which is pretty fucking good, you know? So now... Uh, Z has set up a store for the for shirts, mm-hmm. and I, I saw that on the, on the I think that was on your Instagram. Yeah, there was some girl who commented that that that, that was pretty cool. Who is that? I don't know who that is. Those are just random people that because I put hashtags on my fucking post, mm-hmm. so it goes to everybody that's looking for a hashtag that is involving a podcast or a store, and I don't know who that is really. Is that person you listen to us? Probably, I don't know. Hopefully, I'm hoping so. Well, anyways, if you want to check it out, I'll leave it in the description. But if you want, I could just tell you right now. It's it's a uh, website's uh, designedbyhumans.com backslash shop backslash low class podcast. I mean, the shirts itself they're about roughly twenty four dollars, but I have no control on on how much those those uh, shirts are because uh, they set it for us. So. There's nothing I do about that. I can't lower it or anything like that. But the thing that sucks is, since me and Pony both run that store, we get it for much cheaper, at least a good $10 cheaper than what you guys are going to be paying. I don't know if it's cheaper if you actually sign up for the website, doing it that way. But, you know. Oh, oh also, by the way, we have stickers now, too. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. Dollar fifty is thicker. It's about, like, maybe about this big and, like, I'm gonna get my ass drawing, don't I? Yeah, we need more designs. <laughs> I noticed. I mean, if, we, if we get, if we do make some profit through that website, we could probably also get my sister to clean up all your artwork, and then we will make it into shirts, stickers, cell phone cases, whatever you know. And then we could actually pay her because she still wants me to pay her for some fucking reason. <laughs> I, I gave her 20 bucks for making that little illustration that we had, which is our logo now. No, I'll keep... I, I realized that, that we're, I'm going to have to keep on designing new things. But I do have some pre-designs that we can still probably use. But for sure, that logo is always going to be our logo. We're not going to change it. Maybe we'll revise it and maybe add color to it. Or maybe just leave it as is because it's okay, right? Yeah, it's okay as it is because it is black and white. And it does come out as... It goes anywhere, actually. Yeah. Unless she, like, she does the negative thing, like, the black and then the the outline's white. Yeah, the, so we have, like, both colors. Yeah. And we just have white right now because uh, you put that design on any other shirt, like a black or, like, maybe blue colored shirt, it's not going to work because the, the, cause the image has white, it's white borders around it, so it's going to look stupid. So it's better if you get it in white. I was supposed to buy two shirts, for one for me and one for one for Pony, but <laughs> I'm lacking funds right now, so I probably have to get it when I get my uh, a check and later, sometime next week and a half or so. All right. So upon request, a friend of ours mentioned for us to talk about how some things have gone, some things that used to never be popular have gone popular, so became overrated due to factors like celebrities doing these things but she want us to do this like anything that's trendy now or basically anything that the same that used to not trend is trending okay for one thing that i fucking don't like his hipsters that use mm. fucking grandpa sweaters that wasn't big back when we were in high school 
It wasn't. We used to all use. Some of us used to use. What, what do they call this? It's like a fucking the Mister Rogers sweater. Yeah, which I do have one. Yeah, don't get me wrong. Those are those are nice. Those are comfy to wear, you know. But fucking these goddamn hipsters ruined it for everybody. You know what? The hipsters ruined it because they took. They, this is a bunch of yahoos who fucking who couldn't become a certain type of person or a certain a certain certain type of subculture that that you know they couldn't be i guess you can say and then just started becoming their own selves like i don't care i don't care about trends i don't care that's us so i don't call myself anything obviously they do care about trends because they dress that way maybe they'll fit in like the fucking 40s and shit or they, they, you know they dress like a fucking like one of those stereotypical dads on a fucking sitcom you know fucking yeah. wearing a grandpa sweater and smoking a fucking pipe and it ruined it because look watch we some of us Used to wear ripped shorts, ripped jeans, uh, plaited jeans. We used to wear leather jackets. And all of a sudden, these fools are doing it. And all of a sudden, the rap culture is doing it. Like, uh, like uh, I guess, um, Kanye West was wearing a leather jacket that had, uh, I think, an exploited, exploited patch on the back. Or something else. I forgot what it was. Doesn't even know what the exploited is. He doesn't. No, no. None of these fuckers know. And then they ruined the subculture. They ruined everything. This is why... A lot of the punks, you don't see none of the punks anymore because I, I've seen, I know a lot of punks, but they don't dress like they used to dress anymore. They are no. underground, and, and the only way you'll find out who they are is by what they listen to. Yeah. And I know like a couple that there are, but they used they use like whatever. I mean, one of our friends is still sort of a punk still. Who? Armando. Armando, yeah. Armando was, yeah. Armando never considered himself that. Yeah, but he was still, he was still like considered in into it. Some, you know, because he's in the, you know, the. I, I don't know. I guess just, just the style he is. I don't know. Him, he was more into the metal scene. I like. He liked the death metal because he was he got into like Rimosa, like Rimosa, um, all these dark shit. Yeah, yeah. I could tell by the post he puts on Facebook that it's pretty bleak, and I'm like, wow. But True. it's kind of shit I like too. So. Cause I like all types of music, and I never considered myself anything throughout high school. Even now, I did go through a lot of phases, though. I used to wear like a, a fucking jean jacket. I still wear Levi's. I don't wear my jean jacket anymore, but I have a jean jacket vest. Yeah. And and long hair, and it was a bitch to maintain, so I cut it. But yeah, I mean, like you were saying, the the hipsters ruined it a lot. Thanks to these people. Some of us have to go on. Yeah, and, and they think they look cool with that stupid fucking mustache. It's like, come on, who are you trying to fool with that fucking thing? Yeah, and trust me, this this is the, this is the people who are who back in the day were called the the post postmodern people who who thought everything they're, they're, were art. They're like some kind of variation of uh, of a, a social and maybe some a, shit. a social and maybe a mod, maybe a mod. Some bullshit. And they all they're all assholes too. They are assholes. I met a lot of them, and I'm like, fuck you. They all have attitudes. It's <laughs> like, I can't be friends with you, man. Fuck you. I, I met a lot of these people in LA, and it's just annoying, but... Yeah, they, they've written a lot of things. But, yeah, but, yeah, but Pony's right about the punk scene. You don't see a lot of people dressed like that anymore with fucking, like, Liberty Spikes or Mohawks or nothing like that. I Honestly, I haven't seen one since, like, 2004 Warp Tour. Nope. You don't see them as much. They, they died out. And yeah. I miss going to punk shows, man. They had, there was a couple of good punk shows that I went to at house parties. Man, they were fucking sick. Like, they, they carry all their equipment in fucking shopping carts. Yeah. Because they don't have vehicles. I know. Trust me. I and see. they have pieces of shit mics like this. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I see. I, living in LA, I saw a lot of that. Like, the best punk band you'll ever hear is probably going to be in a garage. It's supposed to sound distorted and not clear like you hear on the... Like, it's not too digital, you know? Yeah. Very distorted, and it sounds, uh, yeah, just fucking distorted, you know? But, yeah, like, uh, my friend was saying that, that, like, we were talking, and we were actually texting back and forth. We were saying how, like, Coachella is overrated. It used to be, like, a like, shitload of money. Now, it used to, back in the day, it used to be, like, less than that. It used to be, like, probably five, 50 $60. And then because of these celebrities, like, uh... Um, how much is it now? Fucking $300 or some shit. <coughs> some bullshit like that, but it's stupid. It's like a, it's like a, like... The new Coachella gen- is in what, like, Indio, right? Some shit like that. Somewhere around the area. Somewhere close to Paris. You know, see, the thing is, I want to go to Coachella because a lot of the bands that go there, they're pretty fucking sick. But 
It's fucking too hot right there, man. Not only that, but it's the... Uh, uh, Rihanna goes to it now. Kanye West goes to it. Uh, so it's like a... It's, it's a, overrated. Like it's, be, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a trend now. Yeah, they... Even they, if they don't listen to music. They ruined it so bad for anybody else because of that main reason. It's, it's like kind of like the iPhone. The iPhone is overrated because it was got popularized because satellite birdies were using it. I'm pretty sure they paid them like any other... Uh, like um, any other commercial... Right, but it it compl- like almost everything got. They don't even do they even still have I- iPhone and iPod commercials anymore? No, no, any. because it's it's get, it's popular on its own. <coughs> I mean, you got new different types of iPhones that cost so much, and people oh I need it I want it and on top of shit it's like it's more of uh, I I want the best shit ever, and instead of going oh I need this it's because it's it's a necessity not more of like oh this is. Uh, kind of like a yeah, new edition I bullshit. mean I'll say one thing about like smartphones now is like they're pretty much they're probably gonna take over laptops because you could do everything on your phone you could record shit you could you could record video take pictures you could uh, go on the internet you could record a podcast through there you could do all kinds of shit on there you know yeah Compared to back in our day we just had flip phones that just took pictures <laughs> and probably took like three minute videos push to talk yeah like <laughs> PTT <laughs> no. hey, you know, I had I had a fucking brick phone back in the early two thousands. It was probably about this big, like this thick. Oh, the Nokia. Not the Nokia. It was a Motorola. Motorola. All it had was just it stored numbers, had a calculator, and that's it. <laughs> no, it's I've seen like old people have like old rich people have like iPhones. It's like this is retarded. It's like yeah. you can't even you can't. Oh, you know one thing is in the Philippines, all the old people have. Fucking, they have smartphones. Smartphones. My, my grandma, she refuses to get into that kind of like trend. You know, like it would help a lot since I got rid of the landline here, and there's no way of her calling anybody if something happens. True. But the, the main reason why I got rid of my landline is because it, I was paying thirty bucks a month, and nobody was using it. It was only being used maybe once or twice a month, or not even, not even at all. You know. I mean, uh, uh, landlines are getting <coughs> uh, going obsolete. That's yeah. a sure thing. But with blackouts, if you have like an actual direct line, oh, that's the only way. Yeah, it, it works that way. But the thing is, my wall jacks are fucked up, so <laughs> I have to get that fixed before I decide to turn it back on. No, but yeah, all these things are overrated. Uh, people are just stupid enough to follow it. I, like I'm even amazed at how like old generations still follow these trends. I'm like, how stupid are you? I'm like, because. The new gen, the old people, I've seen old people getting like trendy haircuts, trendy hairs, and then trendy clothing. I mean, and it's they look stupid. I'm like, you're fucking old. Yeah, you could even you could even say my fucking haircut is a trend because everybody gets it like this. But the thing I like about this because it just it's easy to maintain and yeah. But it's 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 just funny though. Like uh, like old people are weird. It's it's like we should have respect for these people, and then at the same time they. I have I have no respect for old people. Like I have no respect because I like I said I, I work at the hotel and then you get a lot of rich people coming in and out. I and see it, a lot of rich people. Huh? Yeah, and then they they act like they like oh I have the best shit in the, my, the world and all this. She's like yeah for sure whatever. Like, yeah, like they think you're they're like up here and you're like down. fucking down there. Yeah, and it's like, like when you die you're gonna die. You're not taking shit. It's with like you. okay money is. It solves most of your problems with like financials, whatever. But as far as happiness goes, I don't know. People are just stupid. There's no such thing of maybe rich people will fucking disagree, but there is no form of like buying happiness. Like in reality, the, <clears throat> like the iPhone doesn't. The iPhone sucks. The iPhone literally sucks. You know, honestly, I have trouble using it because it's so simple. Well, the iPhone. Yeah, because I can't stand the simplicity of it. It's like, uh, uh-huh. okay, where do I go? It's like, it seems so simple to use, but it's like so... And you can't hack it. You can't add yeah. anything to it. Like you can't... It, for me, I love complicated phones because it's what I'm used to. And, uh, you know, it's yeah. better. Like, my phone, I can I can hack it. I can add whatever I want to it. Yeah, you, iPhones, could, you could jailbreak it. You could, yeah. You could put, like, a different SIM card in there. Say if you go overseas yeah, or exactly. you go to a different country. And you can't take out the battery from, like, the iPhone and shit. Even my phone, you can't take out the battery. It's kind of like an iPhone. No, The battery is internal. There's no memory card or anything. And those are getting obsolete, though. No one actually likes them because you can't take off the battery. Yeah. And when the battery dies, what do you need to replace it with a new phone? That's yeah, all you're going to do. Plus, there was a warranty, but it's been too long. 
already, so I don't think I could get a new one anymore. See, that, that's why I always try to go with one I can take. I can take it apart. Yeah, I didn't know that. I didn't know it was gonna be like that until I explained it. But the phone itself is pretty fucking cool. Yeah, it's re- it's retarded, and it's funny because uh, everybody's trying to. Even though the U.S. tries to succeed in a lot of things, like uh, the phones in Japan are all waterproof. All of them are waterproof. Yeah, we yeah. we we have waterproof phones here too. But it's sun, not all. Yeah, like this. There's a Sony smartphone that's uh, waterproof. But I talked to the lady because I was gonna be my first choice because it looked pretty cool and it waterproof. But the lady said it doesn't do too well. Like a lot of people rated it pretty bad. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. In Japan, it's not like that. Yeah. In Japan, you can take. I mean, the thing you is, could. you could get a fucking waterproof case. They make those. So oh any yeah. Phone can be waterproof. But what my point is that more of like. They, they try to waterproof it and shit it's complete crap it's like uh like the new iPhone red I don't know. so is it waterproof or just water resistant no waterproof waterproof yeah like the iPhone red I don't know if you ever heard of that <coughs> iPhone red iPhone red is like the new edition of the new all iPhones the new iPhones that came out that's a new one where it's water resistant you can throw water on it and then it will you know it won't water won't go inside which is stupid because you pay more for use that you have the same perks as any other iPhone, but then the only thing that it that the only thing that's better from it is this is water resistant. That's all it is. It's like okay, well, that's kind of retarded. Why? The yeah, f- it is. It is. And people still buy uh-huh. it. And people's like, oh look, <coughs> I got the new iPhone Red, and it's like, oh, I paid this much for it. Okay, I don't give two shits. <laughs> so Honestly, like, like well, even with me, like this phone, it's pretty big. Like I can't just put it in my fucking pocket. I have to wear a jacket or like like a vest or something. Yeah. Or put it in my back pocket. Yeah, it's, it's retarded. I don't, I don't, I completely don't understand trends. I, I don't, it's retarded. I don't really care for them. I never did, never will. I don't, I'm not going to spend so much money on the phone. That Especially the phone I have is worth like a fucking piece of shit junk car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, like my what? like my phone, I upgraded and it has a bigger screen and it does everything I need to do. Yeah. I can, I I do everything on it. Like all those essentials, you know? Yeah. And it's, it's, I, I, yeah, trust me, I don't care about the iPhone. I have a chance to get it, but I don't need it. It's a stupid, I don't, it's retarded. I don't like the iPhone. iPhone is shit. It's like a, like a Chinese made toy in the brakes. That's Mm -hmm. what it is to me. Like yeah, people well, drop I mean, the it. parts are made in China. Yeah, but then you drop it, it <coughs> breaks. It's like, what are you going to do? Oh, I got to go to the iPhone store for them to fix it. And I have to pay like $100. Yeah, and plus, uh, fr- a friend of mine, his dad, he had an iPhone. I forgot which one. Probably the iPhone 4. Mm-hmm. And he was sitting on his couch. And this couch was not even that far away from me. <laughs> and he drops it. The fucking screen just cracks. Yeah, see, it fucked that. It was Super like- sensitive. I can't, no, I can't deal with that kind of shit. It's stupid. Yeah. I've dropped this phone so many times on its face, and I'm surprised there's no fucking scratches on it. Because I'm guessing this is Gorilla Glass. It doesn't really scratch. Yeah. But it, but it does, it does crack if I did drop it from a high enough height. That's why I don't, no, I don't agree with these things. But whatever, it's like, <sighs> so yeah, so I don't, no, like she said, like, the, these trends are just getting really, what do you call it? They're getting too out of hand. No one's, no one's their them sames anymore. What? Kind of warm in here. Like these tra- like no one. It's not the same anymore. Like people are, ret- everybody's trying to be a copy of a copy, and it's weird yeah. to see that. It's just, it's like people, like I don't know, dude. It's just stupid. And then I, <coughs> I noticed about the whole motocross crap where people get their car fixed up, but then you see them going to just being a business person, not using the truck. Oh, yeah. yeah now yeah. their truck for nothing else but that. I'm like, do you know how to build yeah, that's a house? That's a big investment, too, you know? Yeah. Putting a, making a fucking car like that. Yeah, and you ask them... you're not going to use it for off-roading or nothing like that? Yeah, and you ask them, like, do you, like, even fucking build a house? It's like, they're like, no, I just have it because it's nice. It's like, oh, that's retarded. And you have it because it's a trend and not because it's a necessity. Yeah. It's like it's it's not about necessity anymore. It's about how who has the biggest thing and who has. Yeah, the like most for expensive. me, like if I'm gonna buy a fucking truck, I'll just keep it all stock. I'm not gonna bother with getting fucking big ass fucking tires, or fucking getting like fucking crazy ass fucking shocks to make it go off road or nothing like that. I, don't know, I guess when it comes to vehicles, it's more basic for me, you know. Yeah, I have a ticket on uh, Sentra, and it, how, it does everything I need to do. I don't Shit, need even me too, man. I have a fucking uh, Nissan Frontier. It's 2001. It's fucking amazing. I mean, yeah, it, it sucks on gas if I'm going far long distances, but... 
for the most part, it's a good fucking truck. Yeah, see, I don't need all that fancy shit. I don't, I don't need nothing like shit. But yeah, overall, I know trans is shit. I don't follow no trend. No. I still love my own music. I still use whatever I use. Oh, yeah, like, even me now, like, uh, I don't listen to a lot of this new generation music because they're crossing genres, you know? It's funny because there's a guy who makes fun of uh, other rappers. Like, uh, is, they talk about how Tupac was talking about the struggle, but the uh, people who, who rap now, they don't talk about the struggle. They only talk about how... How they pretend to be in a struggle when they're, they're not. not. Yeah, how could they be struggling when they're making all this fucking money and they're coming from like rich backgrounds? Exactly. It's like fucking. Like, okay, me. for example, let's let's put let's say the Beastie Boys. The Beastie Boys they start out as a fucking gr- like a fucking crust punk band, and then they transition into becoming a hip hop be- uh, group, and they still have punk influences, and you could still hear it in their music, like the way they sing and everything. I mean, yeah, it, it sounds sick, like, but I still prefer the punk version of Beastie Boys versus yeah. their rapping. It's the rapping's good, but they should have stayed a punk band. Yeah, no, these, these things don't make sense anymore. Uh, I think a little a while ago, I was listening <clears> to the radio, not somewhere, I don't know where, and they were talking about how like, uh, I think it was Drake. Someone was taking texting Drake about someone being pregnant. And I'm like, when did this become, like, news? This was never news. This is, like, gossip. You, you know, that whole, even, for example, that thing about gossip, that was, the, that's a new thing. Like, you never, they never had that back in the early 90s when Tupac, Biggie, and fucking Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg were around, you know? It was more music. Music was, like, yeah, they shit. Yeah, they didn't give a shit about who was pregnant and who, what scandals, this and that. It's but just, now it's like it's, everybody feeds yeah. off that shit. You know they need it. I don't understand people. Like people don't make sense to me. Like I don't, I don't, <coughs> I don't know. Dude, it's just weird. But whatever. Like fuck them. In yeah. reality, it's it doesn't. None of these things make sense. If you're not yourself, then you ain't shit. That's in reality. Like if you come over here and say, oh well, I have this and you don't have that, and better than you, like that's a little crap. Yeah. You ain't shit to me. <laughs> like I really will. I think I would pop you in the face is for saying something stupid like that because that's that's literally what you need a pop in the face. You're like a spoiled child. A spoiled child will say I have something better. It's like basically that's what it is. A spoiled child's uh, syndrome. Like you're like oh I have the best thing ever and this uh, I waste so much money so I can uh, have this but at the same time you have so much debt and then you pretend to be something that you're not. It's like well, who the fuck are you? Like yeah. Hmm. I mean compared to to the '90s with with like fucking hip hop. They didn't make that much money making an album. No, to no, of course now. not. Yeah, some now guy they talks make a about it. Fuckload of money now. Yeah, some guy who talks about that and he says that like the, the you make less money, you let, you, you let you make less money because you're making videos and you're under someone's yeah, contract. Like even now, like okay, I'll use this example. Tupac was uh, he did like some kind of like like fucking interview with this some lady or whatever, and. At that time, they weren't making that much for per song. Per song, I think it was like maybe like a dollar. Same shit, I guess. Yeah, like for say for uh, you make an album that's like twelve tracks, you get twelve dollars. Yeah, because like, and like Kanye West's uh, all songs, like the reason he the last. But I could be wrong. It could be something different, but it's something like that. The Kanye, there's a video where Kanye was uh, there's a he's in a desert and there's like this weird I forgot what car, and the reason he does it because it was budget friendly. He couldn't because he was in debt, so he couldn't. (laughs) <laughs> the only thing you could do is just get the camera people in and fucking get one car and just rap in the desert. That's all he could, could oh, yeah, do. For example, I know I'm, I'm pretty sure we won't get hate for saying this, but I remember when they made that video of uh, Biggie Smalls on his death. Remember it was fucking P Diddy and all those. Oh things? yeah. They're just they're just making a profit over his debt. I know, yeah, I know yeah. exactly. And they made a fucking song. They made a video of it. They're like, okay, you're paying t- tribute to your one of your good friends, Biggie which Smalls. Which is a little crap. Which is fine, but the thing is, if you're gonna make fucking money over it, and it's like, that's not paying tribute to the fucking. Yeah, person at it, all. it was a little crap. It's, <clears> like, it's like, well, how do you do that? Yeah, because uh, like and I, I fucking hate P-, P Diddy. That guy's a piece of shit. I never liked. Really I was, uh, I was, uh, I, uh, I like some songs from Tupac, some songs from Biggie, but not too yeah. many. There's just some, not too many. I, I, I'm more of a, I like probably more Cypress Hill and Ice Cube. Oh, yeah, cause, cause Ice Cube and Cypress Hill, they have, well, Cypress Hill has like more like a rock theme to it too. Yeah, I mean, since they got, 
They did. Uh, they so did. He collaborated with a lot of uh, rancid. They collaborated yeah, rancid with rancid and yeah. with some other people. But it, uh, it's it was it's kind of retarded. I mean, because uh, I've ever seen documentary. This guy was saying that. So you pay you pay the production, you pay the producer, you pay you pay you rent out the cars, which costs a shitload, mm-hmm. and you when you what you get back <clears throat> it's nothing. Like you can't survive off of it. So all these people you see with all these cars and all this crap, it's not even theirs. It's just something rented out. Yeah, it's, especially making a fucking video, it, it costs millions of dollars. Like this band called uh, this not band this rap group called Migos. It's a, it's a really modern one that a lot of people like. They, I was reading in the magazine how they, they, all the clothing that they used on there, it wasn't even theirs, but they decided to take it, and then the, they were, <laughs> the guy who provided the clothing were text, was texting the production, and then, the producer, sorry, the producer, and the producer said, you just forget about it, that was already, that was gone, that was, it, was, mm-hmm. it was a while back, meaning that they couldn't even afford this clothing, but they decided to take it, so to me, that tells me, it's like, you can't, like, if you're not even original, if you're not even, you can't even, bring your own product in or pay for your own product it's like damn dude it's like what kind of shit is that yeah yeah, yeah. It's like because <laughs> like, the way they used to do it before like when making videos say if they're gonna use anybody's cars a lot of people donate their cars to them so they can be used or donate clothes for them to be used like for example michael jackson when he made that that music video thriller a lot of those clothes are were donated no shit remember what that that scene where they're yeah. all zombie fight and shit That's those weird. clothes are all donated from people and they just like put like they made it look like it was deteriorating because yeah. you know it was just crazy but it's, it's, it's <coughs> I find it it's hilarious um the only one I, only rapper I probably like is Canada like Ma- Lamar he's, he's like one of the OGs that are actually talking about the struggle and shit it's, it's, it's like the only one who is actually talking about all these stuff yeah, a lot of the mainstream rappers they tend to rap about the same things you know like either about their stupid cars or fucking how they can't find a fucking love of their life or some shit like that but it's all fabricated shit you know none of it's true they just do that to 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 please their listeners let's take uh take uh mayweather and uh, pacquiao an example pacquiao uses his money to help the poor oh, yeah, he's a congressman in the philippines yeah, yeah you don't need a box anymore exactly and then he used all his money to build houses on the ship for, for yeah. the, an education and then mayweather the one but one thing I, I didn't like about the Mayweather and Pacquiao fight. But it was fixed. It was fucking fixed. This is why I don't want them to have fucking boxing matches in, in Las Vegas. Because they could buy out the judges. Yeah, and that's what I'm and saying. The thing like, is, with, with Mayweather, he didn't do shit. Pacquiao was punching him left and right. But at the end of the, the, end of the fight, they went through all the 12 rounds. And fucking Pacquiao was kind of surprised that he, that he won. And he was telling the, 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 the guy interviewing, he was like, you know, I, I should have won. Like, his face was just puzzled, you know? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, Mayweather, and you see Mayweather, like, throwing out money. Yeah, because, see, the tomorrow. thing is, I, I know Mayweather didn't give a shit about the fight. All he cared about was the money. Because yeah. you figure win or lose, they'll get, like, maybe, like, five yeah. million or some shit Which like is, that. Dude, that's why I don't like it. I don't, because yeah. everything's bought out now. Like, Mayweather, like I said, Mayweather was, like, there's videos of him, like, throwing money at the camera. It's like, yeah. okay, you're throwing money, and but he's an illiterate, what the fuck? he's an illiterate fucking guy. Like, I remember listening to him on a on like a radio show and the, he couldn't even fucking keep up with the guy the radio the talk show uh, and the like the guy interviewing him he was yeah. like struggling to keep up with the conversation like he was like because s- he doesn't have a, a fucking education whatsoever yeah all he has from is just money that's what I'm saying it's like he was just throwing money at the camera like that and then you and then you hear about Pacquiao throwing money at the education it was like who am I going to respect more? I'm going to respect the guy who lost because he's throwing money at something that is yeah important. especially Filipinos they don't go around throwing money at fucking no, people like that what the fuck kind of shit is that which is I don't know dude. It's, it's just I find this all odd because it's people who just are stupid enough to like follow these things like I don't know dude it's just retarded now like nowadays, uh, I don't know. People just try to be something they're not anymore. Like, yeah. He's lost. They they completely lost who they are. People lost who where they came from and who they are. That's that's a for sure thing. Because I I know where I come from and I don't. I've never. Yeah, lost I mean, them. maybe they have to sit in a fucking a, a isol- isolate themselves and reflect upon what they yeah who they think they are. Yeah, because I've noticed a lot of people depend on themselves a lot. And it's funny because I've seen a lot of like um, like as memes on the on this anywhere actually, 
and they say, oh, if you uh, if you can survive without Wi-Fi and whatever this and that for blah blah blah, would you do it? It's like I would. Fuck. What yeah. the fuck? <laughs> I care you about know, I, iPhone. And all I've shit. only had a cell phone maybe since I was in maybe high school, and before that I was fine without cell phones. Yeah. I could turn off my. So you know, sometimes I'll turn off my phone for the whole day or maybe two days. Yeah. And then turn it back on. I'm like, fuck it. You know, it's like shit. Yeah, what I, do I need it for? You. Know? I get bored. I used to listen to my music and it was pretty much all as far as I yeah. go. Actually, that's that's what my my phone is a music player. <laughs> Basically, because that's what I do too. I was like, fuck, or well, Instagram or some shit. Yeah, but, you know. But it, yeah, like I'm like I'm amazed how people are so dependent on like technology. I don't. I'm not. Like I saw, I think yesterday, the day for yesterday, I saw what's it called uh, Ghost in the Shell. I I don't know if you've seen the this one. the new one. The new one with uh, what's your face? It's it's alright. It's, it's alright, but uh, it shows you how people depend on it too yeah, much. Yeah, yeah. I mean, compared to the original Ghost in the Shell, the one that came out in '95, the animated movie. Oh, that was, was a good movie. That one was. I love the fantastic. show. Fantastic. The show was good too. Yes, but the movie itself. I mean, for what it was, I guess it's leaning towards more the like the newer generation of people that yeah. love these type of movies, futuristic, blah blah blah, this and that. But me personally, I still prefer the original. Of course, yeah, because so this this one that they made was kind of like weird and off. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, it didn't make sense. But it, <clears throat> the storyline I did like it didn't make the storyline made a lot of sense. Yeah, which I like because she, they she meant they mentions like oh she's like she's like uh, content like at, questioning herself. Yeah, I mean, as far as like going like about the whole uh, staying true to the anime. Yeah, it somewhat did do that, but the thing is. Let's be honest. Everybody wants to see Scarlett Johansson naked, yeah. and in fucking Ghost in the Shell the movie, she was practically naked the whole time. Yeah, no, but and the, but in the she movie, was wearing a suit that made it look like it was nude, but like it covered all the the. And bits. the movie explains why it's called Ghost in the Shell. That's the thing, yeah. which I enjoyed a lot because uh, I mean they caught they I guess the terrorists attacked her uh, her I think a boat or a plane, and then uh, they put they saved her brain and they put it inside a cyborg. Well, they they actually explain it more towards the end. I don't know for anybody that hasn't seen it, we're gonna spoil it. But I don't give a shit because that movie's been out for a while. But there, supposedly she had she was in a like a boat accident. That's yeah, what yeah. they were telling her. But towards the end, she actually lived in that same city that she was. She's been there her whole life, yeah. pretty much. There's no really like she her background is not really there because we don't because they even like the creator. He didn't he probably oh, any knows. background on it. Yeah, there's no... Because she, she, she was still... Uh, she was an agent either way. Though, yeah, the, the so that what they did, I guess for the movie's sake, they kind of made it... They put a little backstory. Like, she had a mom. Like, she visited in yeah. these apartment complexes. And she said, I had a dollar, blah, blah, blah. She, she, she ran away from home and this and that. And I guess the mom, like, actually figured it out. Like, yeah. this is my daughter, you know? Yeah. Because she still had a human brain, but everything else was just electronic. Did they ex- fucking, yeah. Yeah, and this is where like that's that's what I'm saying. Like in the movie, they did explain it. Like she goes, uh, she said they she's gone. She questioning herself. She's like, I'm not. I'm like not like I'm like every, like a robot. It's like yeah. no, no, no. You you have a soul. You have you are you. You have a soul, and you are a ghost. Yeah, and it turns out that the guy that was he, she was trying to chase is what was was they were like together. They were a couple. And yeah. Shit. Which was a good movie. It, it was a good movie. I yeah. just like how they did explain If I really had to rate that movie from a scale of 1 to 10, I'd probably give it about like maybe 6.5. It was all right. Yeah. I did like, like I said, I did like that part where they mentioned how they explain why they call it Ghost in the Shell. Because yeah. she was a brain inside of a cyborg. Yeah, because it, cause her her body had a soul. Yeah, or her brain had a soul. Yeah. Her brain had yeah. a soul because she, had, she was able to control everything else, but every, mm-hmm. like her brain was the only thing that was, uh, was a person. And yeah. then the reason she was taking all that medication is for her body to accept the brain. Yeah. That's so. That's why I'm like, okay, let's. But make- the the reason why she was taking the medication, they, they just told her that it was to suppress, like, so her her body want, her brain won't reject the body. But the thing is, they they were giving that to her so they could block her memory. So true. What oh, that's really true. Cause she had glitches. Her. Yeah. Yeah, cause she was seeing like, she was seeing like a fucking cat or something, like something glitching out. Yeah. And she was like, <laughs> what the fuck's going on? You know. Yeah. 
It was, it was good. I, I liked it. I even liked the 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 what is it? The captain they used, which was pretty good. It's like they gave him the square, the triangle head, yeah. but the hair. I'm like even yeah, in the, in they the made person. him a traditional Japanese. Exactly. Like he, he didn't speak any English. Exactly. The whole time. That guy's a good actor. I see oh, a yeah. lot of the movies too. He's he's done a lot of samurai movies. Yeah. I love that guy. Okay, I'm like oh finally they used some original shit. Yeah. Because the other guy I never I never heard of this guy with the blonde hair. Mm-hmm. Like he like I like how they explained how like um, the bomb exploded and he went blind. Oh, oh, that guy is actually in the he's in the yeah. mid series, and I th- I don't know if he's in the movie though. I think he might be in the movie too. He's I'm in the sure. movie, yeah. Yeah, and then they, they give him the prosthetic eyes. Yeah, and it's like these are tactical. Shit, <laughs> like, man. I mean, if they're gonna give you prosthetic eyes, I'll take it, but I don't want to look like that though. <laughs> give me fucking artificial eyes that look like real eyes. But did he have sunglasses on the in the in the cartoon? I think they they just look like sunglasses. Okay, because yeah. it was funny. He's like, I don't want to feed the dogs. Cause I don't want them to be scared of me. Yeah, I was like, all right, that, that makes sense. Because I think he was more. He wasn't really a cyborg. He was more like a human with enhancements. Yeah, exactly. He's That's what a... the, the world was because the world was that everybody had enhancements. Exactly. Remember that scene when they're in that little briefing room and the one guy's like, "Oh, you got another an enhancement, didn't you?" Yeah, the liver. And then the yeah, so he could drink more. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, "That's pretty cool," but at the same time. It's, it's too dependent. Yeah, you know, you're going to depend on that now. It's kind of like Repo Man. I don't know if you've ever seen the Repo Man with Jude Law. Yes. And it's kind of like that. I was like, all right, you put those two movies together, and then it makes a lot of sense. You fucking dropped a fucking old-ass movie. I haven't just heard that one in a while. I, I love Repo Man. That's a good that movie. That sick. What did it come out, like, 05 or Something something? Like something like that. Like, Jesus. They, they did make some good movies during that time. Yeah. It was Repo Man, and then you had the one with Christian Bale, he's a vampire. Uh, oh, Stalker um, or something like that. Or Steak. I don't know what the fuck. I think I know what you're talking about, yeah. Yeah, and where he was a vampire. Everybody's a vampire, and then eventually, like, the ones who didn't feed would turn into, like, these weird ghouls, and they were still attacking other vampires. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was that, that, during that time, they did make great movies. And now, it, there's, some movies are right not to make them. There's not a whole lot of movies that out there right now that are even decent, you know? I think now that what they're concentrating is more on Marvel and DC and all this crap. Oh, yeah, Logan was a shit. It was. Logan was a fucking great fucking movie. It, it was a good movie, but it, I don't... It's too it's too many superhero movies after one after another. Yeah, because even even with Star Wars, shit, man, they're they're like fucking on a roll. Yeah, like they made The Force Awakens, and then maybe a year after that they made Rogue One, and then at the end of this year they're coming out with the last yeah. the last Jedi. And Rogue One was a good movie. I like the Rogue One. Rogue One, actually, you know, I like Re- Rogue One better than the last. Yeah, one. exactly, because Rogue One they show the the beginning of the first movie, but the ending to this movie where it's like Princess Leia comes out. Yeah. <laughs> it was like it's a hope. I was like, damn, this is pretty cool. I was like, that was good. Yeah, so Rogue One was a prequel to A New Hope. Exactly, yeah. and it was kick ass. I'm like, holy shit, this is kick ass. I didn't yeah. think I was gonna do that. Yeah, I was, I was very shocked. I was like, I remember I was in La Jolla. I don't know why I was there, but I went to the AMC over there, uh-huh. and I, when I saw Rogue One, I'm like, like I got halfway through it, and I'm like. Holy shit! This is better than fucking yeah. Force Awakening. I'm waiting for the new one to come out. Yeah, the last, the last Jedi. Yeah, because uh, I know, I know, uh, Mark Hamill comes out in mm-hmm. that one too. I was like, damn. I mean, everybody was fucking pissed off that fucking Harrison Ford died and end of that. I feel like I'm. A, I'm but a... you know what? I think George Lucas wrote that in there because the thing is. Harrison Ford didn't want to play. And he didn't like the Han little Solo. midget things. He like he hated the little fucking. <laughs> The what is it? The little midget guys. He didn't. He didn't want to work with them whatsoever. He even said not. All those fucking, fucking teddy bear things. Yeah, I forgot what they're called. Fuck, I, I can't believe. I used to. Always, oh, Ewoks. Yeah, no, is it Ewoks? I think it's Ewoks. Ewoks. Okay, yeah. yeah. He didn't want. He even said in the interview, he's like, I don't want to. I don't want to do the movie. Yeah, especially so it, being now he, that he's a kind of a bitter old man. Yeah. He's like, I'm done with Star Wars. You know. Yeah, and that's what made him. Well, Indiana Jones and that made him. Yeah. Like, Indiana Jones was sick as shit. Yeah, but the last movie, they ruined it. Oh, Crystal Skull, yeah. Yeah, with, uh, with Shia LaBeouf being, trying to be the replacement. Not gonna happen. Yeah. Uh, so, I don't, know, I don't know. But I'm hoping that... Hold on, we gotta stop talking. Stupid helicopter. I mean, something the new one that does come out, it's, it's, uh, all these new movies come out. I hope that Harrison Ford didn't actually die. I hope that, like, they found him and I, then they... Re- I don't know, he fell in a pit, though, didn't he? He fell in the pit, but they never actually show how he, like, he disappears, you know what I mean? They only show that he fell, but they don't show, because he stabbed him uh, on the liver part, I think. Uh-huh. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a new era. No, 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 the, the, the way that they, they made a, the new Darth Vader, 
Oh yeah, but Kylo I mean, Ren. But then they, they have the, the 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 master coming out on it, like the actual guy, the the crazy, the oh, big the one with the hologram, the, the big ass hologram. Yeah, he's supposed to. He's actually, you know what? A lot of people were thinking like it's like a conspiracy. They, they think he's the. Remember in uh, the previous Star Wars, like yeah. like Empire Strikes Back, that that commander that was always by Vader's side. Yeah. That old guy. Yeah. They think that's him because it kind of looks like him. True. Yeah. But I like I I let me see, I, I want to see what happens. But happened. if it is him, they have to CG his whole body because the guy passed away. Right? Yeah, I know. I saw that the, the Rogue One they did that. They yeah. CGI too much yeah. of it. I'm like, oh, but that it looked real though. I know. Yeah. But it's crazy. <laughs> you know what I liked about Rogue One? That fucking chi- that that Japanese or Chinese guy that was blind. Oh yeah, yeah. he was cool. <laughs> like who came in an ape? ape man? <laughs> he put the fucking bag over his head. I'm blind. I don't know where you guys are gonna take <laughs> me. Exactly. <laughs> It, it, dude, that was hilarious. That guy was that guy is kick ass. I like how Donnie yeah. Yen. That's his name. Yeah, because he came yeah. out in It Man. Yeah, yeah it, it Man and It Man, and then he also comes out in the. He comes out in Triple uh, X too. Yeah, the new one. Yeah. I was like, that was retarded. Triple <coughs> X was retarded. You know, they they need to stop making that franchise because well, it, actually, it was over the top. A lot of people thought that Triple X was part of a Fast and the Furious, which it wasn't. It's two no, separate it's movies. Not. It's yeah, separate, yeah, I thought it was Fast and the Furious when I saw. I was like, this is retarded. Well, because yeah, it's a similar extreme stunts that are exactly. impossible. A lot of things you see in the movies, like that's not possible. You can't do that. Exactly, and I'm like, this but is those, just... you, honestly, I was kind of surprised with new. Uh, Fate of the Furious, the last one. That oh just yeah, came I was like, that was a good movie. That one was uh, surprisingly pretty good. Yeah, that was like, good. It, it beats all the movies up until the second one. And then with the uh, the upcoming uh, martial artist is the the new Thai guy that comes out in um. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot his name, but he comes out in this other Thai movie, and he's really good at it. The too. protector. Yeah. It, he's the one where he's trying to save the elephants, right? And then he goes into that room, and then he sees everybody eating elephant. He's Something, like, yeah. He, he comes out like a shitload of movies. Yeah, he's good. He comes out in that. He comes out, and he comes out like a uh, in this movie where they go into a building, and then there's like a lot of gangsters uh, who took over the building, and he starts yeah. shooting them. But he comes out on it, which is really good. He's really good at it. You but know they're getting a lot of fucking like Muay Thai fighters in Star Wars now. Yeah, like in 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 the Force Awakens, they got. They got three of them in there. Really? Which one? Remember when when they meet up with Han Solo and then like the, that Irish guy, that team of Irish people come. Oh and yeah. The Chinese people, those two guys that were right there with the dude with long hair and kind of balding a little yeah. bit, and then the other guy with like I don't know, I guess he's blind one eye. Yeah. Those two guys are actually from a movie called the, uh, the Raid. There we go. That was the movie that he comes out. The the mm-hmm. guy from the the Thai guy. He comes out. Oh, you're talking about that one. Yeah, yeah he yeah. comes out in that one. Oh man, the Raid Redemption. Fuck, that's sick as fuck. Like I remember the scene where they're in that fucking apartment, and he grabs a gun, he fucking puts it against the face, and starts shooting. Yeah. Like, oh fuck. It's cool because I think they're making a second one to the Raid. To oh, raid. No, there's already a second one. There is. Right. Okay, yeah. I haven't seen it. It's called the Raid Two. But I know there's uh, an American version of it too. I think it well, was. It's not an American version, but it's it's very similar. Was it just Dread? Dread. It was. It Dread. was Dread, right? But it's not an American version. It's just they copied it. Oh. Instead of being a team of like uh, cops going in there, it's yeah. just Dread. It's Dread and some lady. Yeah, I remember. I'm like, why is this so similar? It's yeah, like, I was. I was thinking, you know, that's very similar to to the. Raid. I like the other one. The Raid was better than the Dread. Dude. Yeah, I mean, the Dread was like, I guess they try to reboot it. They should wish they should have done what they should have done with Dread. They should have still followed the story from the old one. That one would have been yeah, better. Yeah, it, it, it's like its own movie. It's yeah. not really. Because it was just sequel. Dread, and what was the other one when Sylvester Stallone came out on? It was it was kind of like Dread, but I forgot the the the, the name for it. What, what was it about? It was the same type of movie. It really? wasn't, but he didn't have his helmet and shit. He was uh, doing the whole justice shit. Judge, there's Judge Dredd, and then uh, where he uh, he doesn't follow the judge's uh, rule and they kick him out and they t- throw him into the into the wasteland. Yeah, that's that's Judge Dredd. That's still Judge Dredd. Yeah. Oh, they should have just followed that story. That yeah, yeah, they, they didn't follow it whatsoever. That was retarded. They should have still followed it. Yeah. I'm just hoping they make that one movie with a where it was Wesley Snipes and Stallone. Which oh um, because I know it's not face off. No, it's not face off. It's uh, demolition man. Demolition man. That would have been yes. great. Those two movies I always confuse them because I, I thought that was a part of Judge. Yeah, because they're both futuristic. Exactly, yeah. and then that would have been if they make a movie like that and put those two together. Then yeah, but, yeah. You, but the thing is with uh, with demolition man, it's a little cheesy. It is cheesy, but like, you, all the restaurants are fucking Taco Bell. I know. <laughs> 
what the fuck? I'm not gonna. And when when I saw the server, the portions they give you, it's like I'm not eating that. Give me more of that shit. Exactly. <laughs> and they did me that. That if in reality, if you connected the militia man and George Strait together, it would be a fantastic movie. Yeah. Like and the thing is, like I can't live in a world like Demolition Man because the thing is, they have cigarettes. They banned smoking. Didn't they? I thought they had a little mini, the big filter, but like the little tiny. No, they they had. I guess in the, the like the underground city, yeah. they had cigarettes, oh. but they were making them. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I remember when he gets the defra- he gets uh, uncryogenic, whatever. Yeah. He's like, let me get a Marlboro. He's like, what's a Marlboro? It's a cigarette. Any cigarette? Oh, cigarettes are banned. I know he started cursing. Uh, yeah. No, dude, I don't, dude, if they make that movie into... You know, the three seashells? What's up with that crap? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> dude, the, but the, it's, that would have been great if they made that movie. They re, if they remake that movie because they did remake Robocop, Robocop was good. It wasn't bad. But they changed the story. They did lot, change though. a lot of the story. That's the thing. Because with Robocop, the original, they didn't make him... They didn't. He didn't find like a way to switch on and off his humanity. Yeah. Like in Robocop 1, he was fully just... Cyborg, like a cyborg. But when he, he saw had, his wife and his kid, they yeah, started and, tripping out. And, and he didn't really have any emotions. But yeah. the new one, they made him have emotions. I think what they did. I think what I heard, they put two movies in one, and they try to make it like that. Oh, they try to put like the first. one Yeah, because I know the first one and the second one, they show that he he his humanity was coming back, mm-hmm. and you can tell it's like oh shit. And I think that's what they're trying to do. But they ruined it completely because they didn't do a good story. Yeah, it's one of those movies where you have to be careful because you could easily fuck it up. Yeah. Yeah, like those old school movies can't. Yeah, especially a movie being like the Robocop. That's a cult yeah. classic. You're going to fuck that up. You yeah. might as well not make it Kind of like Dread, dude. Dread, they mm-hmm. did fuck it up mm-hmm. too much. It's mm-hmm. like, you fucked up. It's like, you, you they had, didn't go Just in. Just like if they were going to remake The Crow. You yeah, can't fuck with I a hope movie they didn't like ever that. do that. You can't fuck with a movie like that. No. You can't. Like, if you're going to follow the storyline, at least follow it right. Yeah. And then don't. Because. Yeah. Uh, Judge Dredd had an adventure to it. Mm-hmm. Dredd didn't. Dredd only had the shoot in action. Yeah, it was like an over the top like Michael Bay movie. Yeah, I, actually, you know what? I think Michael Bay Dude, yeah. probably directed that fucking movie. Yeah, they, they they didn't do a good job on that. They got that girl from Three Hundred who played the wife of the Sparta or whatever, and then they got that one uh, uh, Australian guy that played Dredd, and they got that one girl from like some TV show. I don't know. It. it it was just, it was a mess. It was a fucking huge mess. They did. I mean, I'm just hoping, like, again, I, I just hope they do make um, the remake for uh, re- that movie we were talking about. Right Demolition now. Man. Yeah, I do hope they make that, but very well. I don't hope they, they have to. Yeah, especially a movie like that. Even, uh, regardless, it was cheesy, kind of, but still, they have to get a pretty good cast for that. If not, if they do, I, if, I'm hoping to, if they do remake Dread, they should put the wasteland back to it. Yeah, the wasteland was what made it epic, because of the whole <laughs> victory goes through. It gets trapped by the fucking. You know what? What else was a pretty surprising good, surprising good movie? Power Rangers. I haven't seen Power Rangers. You know the the new one is actually it doesn't stay tr- it doesn't stay completely true to the original, but they kind of made it more modern and they made the suits look more a little bit more futuristic, more like their alien suits. But overall, it it was. It's worth watching, you know. Hmm. I was fucking surprised after I, I had done watching it. I was like, "Wow!" But it's I, true because I mean, yeah. all the Power Ranger shows have a different storyline. Yeah, they never it's fall. based on this uh, Korean TV show called Super Sentai. Yeah, and they just converted it into American, American, and a lot of the footage you see in the original Power Rangers when they have their suits on yeah. and they're fighting all of the bad guys, that those are all stock footage from. That one Asia because they, they didn't it's a it was a lazy way of making a TV yeah. show like that, but then later on in the years after they stopped doing that like the, with the new Power Rangers they actually have the suits like, because they they always they share the suits yeah they, they would send it to them to America and send it back when they had oh. the film too so but then after they they didn't use the stock footage anymore they started recording their own fight scenes yeah but you could tell like if they because there's on a YouTube they have like a comparison like side by side there's a scene where they all morph. Yeah, and all they did was dub over that. The, yeah, the voices of the those fucking Koreans. It, it, it was crazy, dude. I I miss um. The thing is too. It, what is it? Uh, Super Saiyan, it was it the Beetle guy. Do oh, uh, Saiyan man, is it or? It's it's. Oh, well, let's just say it was that. Yeah, uh, I I, I still love that show. That show was kind of like Parnsberg is only one person. 
Yeah, they made a lot of fucking like that. Lot, that was a good show. Yeah. That was a Japanese show. It was, oh, dude, Let's see, was... back in the nineties, they had fucking a super. No, no, uh, fuck, what was it called? Uh, something Troopers. Oh, VR Troopers. VR Troopers. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. And they had uh, Beetleborgs. Yeah, Beetleborgs. <laughs> I mean, Beetle I mean let, let's say um, Beetleborgs was good. I liked VR it. Troopers was like a, a, a shitty knockoff. It of, was, but of Power Rangers. I just but it was sick. Yeah. You know, like, Honestly, like I thought, like at a time when I was a kid, I thought if you open the doors open like that, you could actually fly. Yeah. <laughs> but now, like, when I'm older, I'm like, that's not possible. I, I it, was, it was a good show, but they yeah. really, they fucked it up. Like watching it now, like I loved it as a kid, but as as I got at my age now, it's like, uh, this is something I probably wouldn't watch if I... they had they had a, a side man in America. They had the super <clears throat> side man, but it was a uh, it was a guy who would try to like. Some guy would do viruses and try to try to destroy the world. So what he would do is go into the computer and then fight the virus. Yeah, you know, Japanese they have that obsession with fucking robots, man. I, I but they, they they have made a lot of robots. Yeah, their their technology is way past ours. Yeah, of course. They're like at least twenty years ahead of us. They 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 are. Man, they're already in the process of making fucking androids. And I think they already have one. Shit, man! You couldn't even tell. Some guy could come in through like. Let's say he comes to travel to U.S. and he goes to the metal detectors. Okay, why was it beeping? You have any metal on you? Like I'm made of metal, <laughs> right? <laughs> you know, because it's, it, like, it's just think about it kind of like a Metal Gear, Metal Gear Solid. Oh yeah, yeah. That 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 kind of stays true the to the generation form yeah. of it. Because I know like Shit, you know if if I die like say if uh, I die in a car accident I want my my fucking brain in into a fucking uh, an android and. I'm gonna fucking have like super strength and break fucking walls. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's that'd be sick. I saw like a couple of videos on YouTube where like this there's a uh, supposedly that someone had they have a uh, stealth stealth suits, which is crazy. That like, technology is like way beyond us right now. They, that's something. That well, there's some things develop, because there is a patent where like people have been using. They, there's a patent on uh, if you look it up. There's a patent where they made a time machine. The U.S. is no seriously. I'm not lying. You can look this up. It's a patent, like meaning that someone. Yeah, but something like time travel is something you can't really fuck with. Because... People understand though. That's the thing. Yeah, because if you change like the, just the smallest thing, it, ha- it could have like a ripple effect. Yeah, it, it's everything. the butterfly effect. Yeah, the butterfly effect. Oh, that, but that that one. You know, the new butterfly effects were pretty good. I've never seen like which was they had the first one with Ashton Kutcher and they have the second one with different actors. Oh yeah, yeah. I saw. I, I, but there, one of them, one of their sequels, was actually pretty good. I saw. I seen all of them. I was like, whatever about them. To tell yeah. The truth. I was like, eh. I mean, they're straight to DVD movies, you know. Yeah. No, but um, yeah, they they I I was reading online, but I mean, I'm not I'm skeptical about it. But they they, they there's a pattern for the time machine. They they actually have a patent. They apply, meaning that someone wrote and applied for the application to have a patent, and then they, there's a patent for it. There's a patent. I don't for know. It. It, it it's dangerous, you know, fucking with time like that. I mean, it, granted, everybody that made mistakes back in the day, like, like for me, for example, if they had something like a time machine, of course I'll try it. But I wouldn't want to change anything because the way my life is. I gotta work on this fucking podcast because these damn airplanes. Where are we at right now? We are at uh, 57. Nice. Yeah. So yeah, the with the whole time thing, you know, it's something you don't want to really fuck with because you change one thing, that ripple effect is just crazy, you know. Because I mean, even like, say, if, I don't know, for example, I didn't take my dad's car that one time in my life, or I didn't take drugs. Or I'd hang out with you, with with you or anybody else that I know now. Yeah. My life would gone in a different path. I would probably been like a preppy kid that would fucking like a nice job, but finish college and everything like that. But I'm satisfied where my life is at now. I'm so. content. Yeah, yeah. You know, there's <laughs> nothing I really want to change too drastically. If there was a way to change it with any without any repercussions, yeah, why not? I feel like to me, I feel like um, it's me away from the whole. I mean, I would feel that whatever I did were lessons learned that I should learn not to do again. Oh, yeah. It's th- th- just like that whole thing when they, they, they tell people, like, if you were to go back to high school, how would you do it? Like, oh. Most people's exa- uh, answer would be, like, to do a lot better. 
true. Like but in reality, now? I yeah. mean, education doesn't even matter anymore now. I mean, education is more of a profit than what it is what it was then. Then it was uh, for you to succeed, and now it's just, oh, let's make profit off of these people. You graduate, and you don't have the job that you wanted because you graduated. Kind of like, I mean, there's just a couple of people that I know that graduated in their major and didn't do anything with it. They couldn't do it. They're over here working at Six Flags or Disney. Yeah. Working like fucking jobs, not paying minimum wage. Yeah, it's. Like, it doesn't make sense. You know what? That's happening, right? There's a there's an aircraft carrier in that here in IB because of the whole Korean bullshit. Yeah, it it, it it sucks when you live this close to like a fucking uh, training place. Yeah, but they have air, air aircraft carriers right there in IB. Just in case yeah, Korea IB, tries to they have IB in, in, in Coronado also. Because they're, they're afraid that Korea may attack. Literally, people think that Korea may attack. So there's probably two sections that I have to cut because of the fucking stupid aircraft fucking things, man. That's crazy, though. I don't know. It's, it's, it's different. But no, yeah, like, I, if someone ever asked me that question, I was like, well, I don't really feel like I should change anything. I mean, I probably want to visit, like, certain places, you know? Like, Time traveling was? Yeah, like, you know, like, seeing, like, maybe Led Zeppelin live. Oh, when I see. first started or some shit, you know? They'll give you, like, clothes from that era, and then you'd fit in perfectly. I think it would have been, I think for me, in my, in my scenario, it's, to me, it's more like what happened during that time. Like, what was the danger of being during that time, or... What if it, what if it's a race conflict type of shit or what if, you know what I mean? It's like yeah, there's only one thing that I wouldn't fuck with if I were if they ever had time travel is probably go to the past and visit my family when they were younger because that could change a lot of things. I couldn't be born. Yeah. You know, repercussions. Yeah. 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 No, I wouldn't. I don't think I would change anything. I don't even think I would time travel. See the truth. I don't really. It doesn't. I don't have anything about it to time travel. I, like you said, it. Anything can be delicate, like a like like a ceramic vase. You touch yeah. it, it'll probably yeah. break. Yeah, just you anything it. you change in there, even if it's so small, and it kill a fly in the past, maybe that'll have some kind of like effect in the future. It's not like fine like China. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Like you don't want to touch it; it's gonna break and cost you <laughs> break you. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't. I know. But I can only imagine that if they ever did make that, and if they do have it now, it's like that'd be a lot of money. Only the rich people will be able to do that. True. That's true. But you can't send an idiot to the past because then he'll be fucking with everything. Well, I mean, you can send an idiot with money to the past. That's mm-hmm. different. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you can't. Well, yeah, you know, if you want to live in that era, like say, you, oh, you want to go to travel there just to visit, or you want to fucking stay there permanently with the money you have now. Say if you have like $25 million. Yeah. And you're living in like the But you know the headaches that would happen though? Because you live in the past and then your brain has to adjust. Yeah. I think that would happen, but I don't know. Yeah, because sure. you're not used to it because you're used to like the privileges of of present. I wonder if that would happen though. <clears throat> like your brain would like form to something else because you're not from that generation. Especially, I don't know, even the whole theory of like if you go in the past, like say if you go like 30 years in the past, would you revert back to your fucking fetal stage? Or yeah. If you go in the future, will you Is it true? get it makes older? Sense. Those kind of things. Yeah, there's there's so many fucking questions that has to be asked before they even develop something like that. That's true. What would happen? Yeah. Because um, or if, unless the whatever time machine you're going through is like doesn't affect anything in you. Yeah. If they created something like that, like where you can't where you can't fuck up anything, where there's no consequences to your exactly. actions. Exactly. You still you have know? the same mindset. Yeah. Unless, yeah. unless there's, I mean, I, I, f- I have a theory that probably two things can happen. You either your whole body goes, or your brain. Bags. You know, honestly, if if they if they did have that, I would probably just do it to fuck like old celebrities like Marilyn Monroe or something like yeah. that, or, you know, just just something that's you can't do now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, I I feel like if they ever do that, it either be the mind going into your old body mm-hmm. with but the same. Or you know what? Better yet, body. they should hook you up to a machine. And you go into somebody's body in the past. Oh, I see. So you can't really have any kind of like repercussion. Yeah, exactly. So you're in somebody else's mind. I think there isn't there like a movie from that. I think there was a movie based on that. 
Well, it's something. So, oh, it, it's it's actually a TV show. It's called Quantum Leap. Okay, so it was. Oh, <coughs> it was. That's yeah, true because I had the game. Where, yeah, Quantum Leap, where he he goes back in the he goes in the past and then he he's he's somebody else. But yeah. he, he plays out history though. Like, yeah. Like history events. I don't think it'd be possible if you if it if it doesn't recognize your brain. Like you know what I mean? It's like it. An only way for you to go to the past. You'll be able either two like I said two things can happen all other your whole body goes or just your mindset yeah. goes into the, your old body because mm-hmm. I think you can only because going into someone else's body would be something else I don't think that would be possible you know I, I think you have to be compatible like say, exactly it has to be like a family member say uh, yeah for example, bloodline yeah it has to be either like for me it'll probably be my dad I'll go yeah. in my dad's fucking mind and then you know because we because when I when I saw my dad's old pictures we looked like almost alike. yeah so it had to be like like a something around yeah here. like your dna has to match and all that shit because if you go into somebody else's body you reject it and you fucking end up being torn back to the fucking present yeah I, I, that's what i feel i feel like only your brain would go to that your same body i guess we're gonna have to cut it short because of this no we, we, we could wait they're probably gonna be done pretty soon they're like rolling around If we had the soundproof, it would be fine. Well, I mean, you would have to, like, do the whole egg carding thing. Yeah, like, you put those pads on the walls and everything like that. I don't think you can do it in here, because no. you don't have shit fit. Yeah, he'll, he'll, he'll fucking bitch about that. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, um... Yeah, time travel. But it's, it's yeah, it's, it's complicated against quantum physics. It's like you have to be fucking really smart to fucking even try to do something like that. Because uh, I think Stephen Hawkins, Stephen Hawkins, like he mentioned, in order to all that happen, you have to do a rip in the fabric of uh, fabric of blood. Time. Time, yeah. Yeah. You have to do a rip of f- fabric of time. Makes sense. It does make sense. But it's, it's, I don't know, it's pretty crazy. Dude. I know, they, they probably have to put people through like a fucking, like a, some form of schooling. So or they training. know, yeah, some kind of training, like at least a good, like maybe three years of training before they even try to go in the past or the future. Because you know? it, it's funny, because uh, if you look, you watch these YouTube videos, it's like, oh, there's been times where people got, like, supposedly people from other times. Like, there's a, there's a scene <clears throat> of where Mike Tyson's fighting and supposedly someone's recording with a cell phone. Have you oh, ever the, seen that? Yeah, those are like fucking little conspiracies. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm Especially saying. Especially the, the hipster of, of the, the 60s. Yeah. Remember that? But it, those are... Like one guy from that area is like, no, those are fucking old clothes. They just look like a hipster. It's like all those things he's wearing, they're all like... During that time? From that era. But they thought he was a time-traveling yeah. hipster because he looked like one of the hipsters of now. And there's another one too. There's a story where this old man supposedly said that he went... It's from the like 1940s, 1940s, and then he went walking one day, and then he never came back, and then all of a sudden he appeared in the 1950s or 60s, and he got ran over by a car. Yeah. And he looked at his uh his record, and he's never he never existed during that time, but they found come to find out there was records of someone getting lost with the same name and same age. Yeah, and then there was other one where I guess it's like a movie set, and some old yeah. some lady looked like she was yeah. on the phone, but she wasn't. I guess she was doing something, but exactly, I, yeah. I, I, like those I was able to debunk. I was like, that's a little crap. Yeah, because I'm like, wait, that that it seems she was probably like doing something. Because you you can find many fucking YouTube videos about people that supposedly traveled through time. They made some sort of device where you fucking turn knobs and you connect it to yeah. something. Yeah, it, it's a load of shit. But it's funny too, look like escaping away from it. There's a, there's been a couple uh, of videos where you kind of see that kind of stuff, and then uh, it's like ghost videos, like uh, you know how like the debunking videos. Like I'm big on uh, what is it, supernatural or yeah. what is it, uh, paranormal. And it, it's funny because a lot of the, <laughs> a lot of videos that I've been watching that I used to watch, they they've like oh like this is a ghost and it's like what are you talking about it's like 3d effect i can tell what the 3d effect is yeah. or there's a guy who's running and he's like like a uh, flash disappearing to one place to another i was like that's super fake you can tell it's fake you yeah can't. like how do you and, like and there's like this whole thing like okay this the police chase some guy was in a car and he went to like this abandoned like fucking building or some shit like that and they were calling it the ghost car but the oh yeah! Is, the gate was. You fucking, see the gate move. It, it's open. You could see it. It's kind of open. Yeah. It's enough for a fucking vehicle to go through. It's like, 
Where'd he go? How did he go through that gate? I know. The whole time I watched this video because I watched, like, I've seen, I've been skeptical about that video so long. I'm like, I saw the fence move. I was like, yeah. in order for that, for someone to disappear through it, they shouldn't have this. Okay, I'll be worried if the gate was completely closed and there's no way that yeah. car fit there. Then I'll be like, oh shit, how the fuck did he do that? And it debunked it, you know? yeah. yeah. But anybody that analyzed it, like, first watch, I was like, the fucking gate's open. Fuck yeah. You. You're stupid. Not only that, like I said, like, I, I, like there was two theories to that. There was a. Uh, they went around it or they went through it where like they yeah. ran into it mm -hmm. and then you see the fence go like that meaning they ran into it yeah and just because it, it fucking bounced back and it looked like it was yeah closed. i was like how do you like even follow like how people are so stupid to believe things really quickly yeah it's like their logic is like down here when it should be fucking up here exactly like the whole like i said the like ghost videos when i keep watching it i'm like this is fake this is straight up fake why would you concentrate on one area and yeah. supposedly you said that like oh yeah i never uh I, I believe there's a ghost in my house but i don't know where and you concentrate the camera in one place meaning that you know something's gonna happen in this one area yeah knowing that you said that nothing you don't know what the ghost is that's like you are lying mm -hmm. like uh, i forgot who someone else i was reading upon uh some uh what is it debunkers and they're saying yeah like when someone concentrates a camera in one place they're gonna something's gonna happen in that area because they they're they're the ones who do that yeah, like I, I seen a yeah. lot of these ghost videos. Like this, I can tell. It's like I already knew from the beginning. It's like they're, this is all fake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like this is a little crap. You can't, you can't. Don't come in and try to tell me what's up. Like, yeah, I remember I was watching like CNN. There's this fucking uh, some dude sent like a video to them, and supposedly there was supposed to be a ghost right there. Like they had the camera in a fixed position, like towards the door, and they see like the fucking the ghost go through it. Yeah, and then the fucking uh, the. The reporter was like, "Yeah, this wasn't fucking CG'd or nothing like that." I'm like, "Fuck you guys! Anything somebody sends to you guys and says not CG, it's it crap. is fucking CG." Yeah, I was like, "This is a little crap." Like I mean, like like I said, I, I'm being I'm paranormal. I can tell what is a lie and what's not. Some of them I can't tell sometimes, but yeah, 50, 75 percent of the time, I was like, "This is fake." But if you get anybody that's fucking really good at making like fucking any kind of like you know ghost or whatever they can make it look fucking real yeah it, it's crazy dude. it's so <laughs> yeah. like how do you even believe this crap that's what people are unless even... i see it with my own fucking two eyes and i'll say okay ghosts exist you yeah know? no they... aliens maybe aliens exist i don't believe in aliens i don't believe with them. aliens i don't know you never know there could be life out there other planets whatever you know that's one thing that's kind of possible but with ghosts it's like i believe in ghosts just because of what I believe in. I've never really experienced anything that was too paranormal, you know? I've never seen... I've never seen an alien. Uh, the times they say, oh, aliens exist, it's always CGI'd or yeah. some dumbass fucking farmer going, someone put a probe up my ass. Yeah. Type it's of thing. farmers or the, those crop fields. Exactly. You, those farmers make that shit. All they do is you just press down on it and it stays flat like that. Exactly. It looks like... Like aliens made that fucking little design right there, and then, which doesn't make sense to me. It's like, oh, okay, well, I guess you believe in crack. Yeah. Like, I mean, a lot of like, I've seen ghosts. Literally, I've seen ghosts. I've seen it with my two own eyes. I remember as a kid, I saw my own grandpa, my my brother and my sister's grandpa actually appear in front of me. I've seen like literally saw it, and I remember talking to it. Mm -hmm. I literally saw this black silhouette with no legs. Well. Just think about I it. I guess if if ghosts do exist, they don't they don't come in a form that you're accustomed to. Like they don't come in the form like the original body that they died. Yeah. In. I think it's more like a shadow figure. Yeah. And it, it and you re, you have that feeling like you're like oh, I know this person. I know this part of my family member or friend or something like that. True. It's, they're just gonna be like like a shadow pretty much. Yeah, basically. Yeah. And then it's it's funny because I've I've seen these a couple of these things and it's it's fucking creepy. It's, it is yeah. very creepy. Uh, there was one situation where when I was uh, I think it was eight there was a guy I remember playing in uh, somewhere in the, California where he's, when I was a kid where there was a uh, there was like this weird uh, for first floor apartment complex it was mm. like little houses here and there <clears throat> and then you would go all the way to the back of the alley and then we had a friend back there we would play hide and go seek and all of a sudden you go there's a fence a wooden fence that had a hole so we went through the hole and then this guy appears I was like what the fuck and then this guy had a fedora with a fucking trench coat and then he said come here guys come here i'll give you each one 50 bucks and i remember me jetting i'm like fuck this i'm out i uh, literally just went oh fuck that i'm out and then yeah. i remember the kids come back with like 50 bucks in their hand but i don't know what happened right. apparently the guy disappeared like he never came back again i don't know what the fuck was happening 
at that time I don't know why the guy asked everybody to come over I even asked them they didn't even know what the fuck was happening either and it was just it was fucking weird uh, at the same place too there was to be like a warehouse in the same place and in the back in the front of it there was uh, regular rooms and then they, there's a there's a Catholic church and there was like some other uh, like weird activity room but behind it there was a storage room where it had a hole in front of it and then you were able to go in but it was really dark and there was a shitload of stuff in the back right. so mm-hmm. I remember going through the hole and as I walked into the hole I started seeing t- uh, two red eyes jumping or actually a pair of two red a uh, pair of red eyes jumping like four of them and then just jumping around and laughing all of a sudden you start hearing laughing I'm like what the fuck is this I remember running out I'm like fuck this thing and I leave and I remember another occasion I was running on my scooter passing in I start hearing someone laughing mm-hmm. like a like a really like weird uh, Charles laugh and there was nobody around at this wow. time and I'm like what the fuck and then that same that same place had weird shit happening so in that same place again uh, where we we lived at uh, so it was the living room when you go in through the door on the right side it was the living room and there was a bed and the left side there was a kitchen a little tiny kitchen not too big and then towards the uh, towards on the, on the straight of it when you went to the door there's a door into a bedroom and towards that there's the restroom uh we used to li- sleep in the in the living room uh on the bed and i remember i woke up one day and i start seeing the two the same pair of eyes jumping up and down laughing and i'm like what the fuck and i tripped out and i just kept staring at two red eyes i'm like i'm literally like I, this is like several occasions i saw this and i literally woke up i tried to wake up my mom and she wouldn't wake up so what i did I, I smacked her leg and i ran back to my bed and then she woke up and then my sister sister started crying and after that i didn't see anything else it was dude it was a trip i'm like oh fuck other occasion too when i used to live in la i think it was like 22 23 i used to live with my uh, godparents and then they they said they used to see this guy with a white shirt and blue jeans and then but they would be it, they were seeing him from the side of the eye so they would see something just walk by and then they look over they couldn't see anything oh they hear doors shut and open and all this shit and then i remember a, a couple occasions one day I was, there's a so through the door right side there's staircase there's stairs and you go up and then going towards the stairs there's a there's a hallway and there's like four rooms on top i remember me walking through the door and i see something just woof, just fly by with the same thing that he mentioned uh, white shirt and blue jeans and mm-hmm. I'm like oh what the fuck and I kind of you know like shaved like whatever it's just ain't nothing and um uh, saw that one one day I told I told my cousin I was upstairs in her room and I told her oh, I'm gonna go get some cookies go downstairs I go into the kitchen so you go downstairs on the right side it's a, there's a kitchen and you go through the little doorway and I was like driving the kitchen I mean as I'm grabbing the cookie I hear someone go get out and I stopped, and I'm like, what the fuck? And I put the cookies back, but as I, I stopped halfway and go, fuck that, I want my cookies. I grabbed my cookies and went back upstairs. <laughs> like, fuck that. <laughs> but though, I literally heard a clear voice. Nobody downstairs. This is like probably 11 p.m. at night. I hear something. Did you have lights on? The, all the lights were on. Trust me, all the lights were on. I made sure the lights were on. because. Was I, there any windows nearby? No, all the windows were closed. What the hell? Everything was closed. It was in literally in the kitchen. Like, did it sound like right behind you? It or? sounded like it was right here in my ear. What? I used to hear someone go, get out! Like, really nasty voice, dude. I'm like, oh, fuck this. And I ran up the stairs. And I'm like, fuck this. And I told my cousin, dude, I just heard someone say, get out. I was like, what? It's like, yeah. I was like, I'm not going back downstairs anymore. Fuck that. I want more cookies, but I'm going back downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> and then when I used to, I used to work at Graveyard in the same house. My room, when you go up the stairs on the right side towards the end, it was my room. And I would sleep during the day. And then one day, uh, it was Thanksgiving, and I I, wonder, I remember I was just crashing out, and I felt someone push my back down, like literally hit it. And then when I woke up, the bed was still moving, meaning that someone actually did hit me. And I looked over, I'm like, what the fuck? So I go downstairs, and I asked my everybody that was in the house, because there was company. Yeah. And I told them, I was like, hey, did you any of you guys go upstairs and uh, hit my back? And he goes, no, no one was upstairs. Well, I literally felt someone like shove my back down to the bed. Jesus. Twice. Wow. And one day I'm like, oh fuck that. But I wasn't scared. Like I literally like, oh what the fuck. But I still didn't care. I right, laughed. Right, like right. whatever. I, it wasn't because literally with those things you feel like you feel fear or you feel anger. They're right, energy. Exactly. But I didn't feel anything. I'm like, oh what the 
fuck that was weird but i still like would go home and crash out and get care <laughs> i still didn't care i was like oh this is weird but other than that i never ever felt anything else like i literally stopped like i don't even i don't feel anything now nowadays anymore so i'm like oh okay i'm good but dude i've been in those occasions where i felt so much shit or seen shit where like oh what the fuck is this so that's what I'm saying. I believe in ghosts because I've seen and felt it, and then this is a weird situation. Yeah, for for me, it's it's the complete opposite. I haven't experienced anything like oh, that crazy, but that sounds insane. I do. It's creepy, and uh, and like like I said, now I don't I don't really uh, reminisce on it anymore. Like I used to reminisce and try like, oh my god, like ghost king, ghost hunting. I'm like, fuck no, I'm not gonna disturb it. I'm not gonna disturb yeah, anything. It's, it's something you don't want to fuck with. Yeah, like I, it's like a bad energy, kind of like a, how people play the Ouija board. You don't want to fuck with it. Yeah, like, it's like it, it, bad juju. Yeah, exactly. And not only that, you see documentaries and movies how like people play Ouija board, and then nowadays people still go, I haven't played the Ouija board. It's like, I don't know if you ever seen these videos, but they've been I don't think I ever played the Ouija board. That's good, because I, like I said, like <coughs> you've seen videos and movies on it, why the fuck do you want to fuck with the Ouija board? Mm-hmm. If there's movies and documentaries warning you, don't fuck with the Ouija board, people still do it. It's like, oh, I'm playing with the fucking Ouija board. And like, why is this happening to me? It's like, maybe because you didn't pay attention to what the fuck you were watching <laughs> yeah. and you knowing what the fuck it does. It's like, I'm skeptical. Oh, okay. But when it happens, you just know something bad's going to happen. Yeah. I never fuck with the Ouija board. Never ever would touch it either. My mom, uh, according to my mom and my grandma, our background has uh, like, like some part of our family used to be white witches. Like they, they did white magic. Like healing i guess you can say and um my mom used to fuck with it she she uh she you ever heard of uh stiff as a board no is it light as a feather stiff from board yeah okay so she's she's done that she's literally done that where she felt like she she like they lifted somebody off the floor oh, and then when they let go they the girl just, whack, just fell <laughs> she's done that and then she's been she lived in houses where the way the, the ouija board was used mm-hmm. and then they saw porto guys happen my mom oh, saw this wow. and then uh the ouija board i guess the same ouija board that it happened they put the ouija board under the under the staircase and my uncle at the time they were living together so they he had a cross and he says that one day when they were sleeping he saw like a shadow come into his ho- into his room and he was saying like oh like he saw he couldn't wake up so he saw someone he felt someone rip off his uh crucifix and throw it under the bed <clears throat> and then he got up asked my mom's like did any of you guys come into my room or and and did this and then like no it's like what the fuck it's like well someone came into my room and then uh ripped off my my crucifix and then they come to find out that the same ouija board was under the same area where the room was at oh shit and then i don't know what else ha- ended happening after that but i know my that's, family fucks with that kind that's of stuff. fucking crazy yeah that's, this is why i'm like i'm like uh no I'm alright. I would never fuck with any of these things. I don't want to try it. Yeah. I was, at one point in my life, I was kind of, what do you call it, more, kind of, I, w- I was cur- curious about these things, but never, I'm like, nah, I've seen too many videos to know that. Mm-hmm. That's just, there'd be bad news. Like, I've hard, I had my cards read and my palm read. And I haven't. No, like, I've had my cards read and all the ones that I've, like, three times, I think. And then one was Yeye, uh, Yeye's uh, aunt read my cards one day. Uh-huh. And some of the things that she said, another card reader said, and after another card reader said the same thing. Yeah. But some of the ones, like probably two or three things, were different from it, yeah. and it was just weird to me. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. If uh, if I were to get mine read and those fucking tarot cards or whatever, I'd be like, I'm pretty sure I have like a pretty basic idea of what what they would show me because yeah. a lot of things that revolve around his death. So either something fucking horrible is gonna happen or you know i don't know dude but it's it's weird because watch okay so uh yes uh so she's reading the cards right she sets up the cards i don't know why how we ended up like going it's like oh my they want let's go read our cards so, all right, wait, wait, uh, let's right, go right. do this shit so the aunt sets up the cards she's reading my card she's like boom uh it says here that you're gonna move and then boom it says here you can leave someone behind and then bam uh it says here you will have money but you won't be rich. You will just have enough money to survive. Yeah. And then, bam. And she goes, uh, she said, you always have money and then you won't have kids. And that's, that's what it said. And then, other than that, it, it stopped. Okay, so we go to the second one where it was my aunt, my godmother and her, and her husband sent us to these things to get, like, plants and all this bullshit, weird bullshit. 
she says the same thing. You always have money. Uh, you you would never have kids. You would succeed into what you study, which was a little crap. And um, some I forgot the oh, and then you'll be you. Okay, so I'll, both of them said that I was gonna get married, be married to somebody. So one, the first one said I was be married to just a, a woman. Who didn't say uh-huh. a fair way to describe. This one said I was gonna be married to a blonde chick. The other, <laughs> and the other one said the same thing, but it said I won't have kids, but never mentioned the marriage part. Right. Okay. So the one that was skeptical, though, they all said money and won't have kids the whole time. But the different was uh, succeeding in two hours in study, which was that never happened. I just can tell. I dropped okay. out of college. Yeah. And then I never, I never was married. So to me, I'm not saying that I'm skeptical. It's just one of those things that it's like if you knew the future, you it's best not to know it. Because yeah, because you could if you it know loses this, the whole fun of life, man. Yeah, especially if you know what's gonna happen. It's like you there's always that fucking fifty percent chance you want to change it. Exactly. Yes, and exactly that's exactly what it is. And uh, it, it's one of those things, like I said, I, I, it loses the whole fun of life. It loses the fun of, like, being spontaneous. Especially if something like that exists, you know, say if there's somebody out there that knows their future and knows other people's future. Yeah. It's a big burden to carry, you know, especially going to know when you're going to die. Exactly. But never, it's scary. And it's funny because I never mentioned anything about dying, which is funny. I was like, oh, right. Yeah. But because I guess those things are more, like more to tell you the happy things not the yeah it's crap things. yeah but especially that whole thing about knowing your own death and know when exactly it's gonna happen even if you try to avoid it it's gonna probably change and then you'll still end up dying the same day but just by a different way you know yeah yeah I, true but i now like i don't even care for it anymore like i don't i don't really i used to reminisce on it a lot which especially if you go to those fortune tellers man they fucking charge you a lot of fucking money just to read you whatever you need to know oh mind you all these ones that i went to were all free yeah and, and especially the ones that you do go to you give them information they could easily just go on the internet and go to these websites where they pay a little fee yeah and they could get all your background information and tell you all these things that you know already it's like oh shit this guy knows wh- where i live this guy knows my family member blah 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 it's like the internet is a fucking scary thing they could find any kind of True. information your background information what you've done in the past and you know, just all your secrets, you know. True. My mom went to one when she was, uh, I think she was, when she was pregnant with me. Yeah. And then the girl who told her, well, basically, the ones who make profit are the fake ones, and the ones who don't make profit are Yeah, the, the ones that try to scam you. Yeah, exactly. My mom went to one that was a non-profit one, so she would take all, the, the lady would go, well, bring me a new... I don't even think those exist anymore, do they? No, non-profit, not. no. But, like, she's like, oh, bring me a new tarot card, and I'll read your cards, and she did it. And uh, apparently everything that the girl lady said is that it, everything happened. Like, literally everything that she said happened. I was like, oh, fuck. Oh, it's wow. going to be a tragic death, and it did happen. My brother's uh, um, my brother's dad died, and then some other... I forgot some other shit, some other tragic shit happened. <laughs> wow. Yeah, and, it, and she was like, oh, shit. But she never went back to it. Like, mm-hmm. literally never went back to it. But it was, it was crazy, dude. That's fucking crazy Yeah, that's also like... So some <clears> of these <throat> things, like... I, I know they exist, but you just don't. I don't fuck with it. I rather yeah. Not. It's better left to be unknown, you know. Because it it's, it's opens another door to something else. It's like eh, yeah, I'm something good. you. Especially knowing something like your own death, is, that would keep me up at night. Oh yeah. I would lose a lot of sleep because of that. <laughs> oh, yeah, I always had a fear of dying, but now I don't even care for it. Like I literally, well, I mean, through the tragic shit I've been through, it's like I don't even care. It's like yeah, I'm gonna like, die. Like, I'm gonna die. Like my death, like the way I, if. The most horrible death I could think of is, I don't know if this technology exists yet, but being teleported into, like, the ocean. Oh. Like, you're, like, a hundred feet in under. The, under the ocean, and you can't fucking swim anywhere, and you fucking just fucking suffocate, you water fills your lungs and shit. That's, that's a trip. That's, that shit's scary. When, uh, when <laughs> Yaya comes, like, when she comes, I'll, like, I'll, I'll bring it up so she can talk to you about it, because she's the one, her aunt's the one that did it, and she's, okay, she was yeah. there for all that, but... It's just something I want her to, like, I want her to, because I don't remember pretty well, but... Wait, the reason why she couldn't make it is because of the days that we choose, or it's because she's just busy in general? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, it's because yeah. uh, she, right now she's moving, and then, uh, the other part I mean, is... if she wants to be, like, a full-time, like, co-host, we could compromise and put, make it on a different day where... It's not even know. that, it's just more of, like, 
like the uh, she goes to church on Wednesdays, and then she, and then she, right now she's moving, so she couldn't come, but she will come in like in two weeks again. Like every two weeks she'll come, because uh, that's the only time she doesn't go to prayer or, or Bible study. All right. Well, I guess we'll just cut it right there. We're at almost at an hour and thirty minutes. So yeah, just make sure you guys check out our uh, our store we just opened up. Once again, it's it's a designed by humans backslash shop backslash low class podcast. I'll leave it in the description so you could guys click on it and see what you think. You know, like we just have just two items right there. We got a white T-shirt with our logo, and then we also have our logo on stickers too. The stickers are cheaper; they're a dollar fifty each. So if you guys want to do that, you can do that for now. Like. We're planning to get shirts ourselves, you know, to see how they turned out and everything like that. But, yeah, just check it out, you know. And please, we need feedback. (laughs) Subscribe. Yep, always. So, once again, this is Ziggy. This is Pony, and thank you for listening, motherfuckers. All right, talk to you guys later. Peace.